Hey guys, it's me, Pink Gamecube, and in today's video, I'm going to be making a custom figure. So this custom figure is going to be a Soap Shoe Sonic fully upgraded. The base figure, of course, is going to be a standard Sonic from the Cream Wave. He comes with this really cool skateboard that looked very familiar to me, and after doing a few Google searches, I come to find out that this skateboard was from official Sonic Adventure artwork. So technically, this item is a adventure-themed item, which makes it 10 times cooler. So if you see in my last video, I talked about these 3D models that I got printed by this very, very talented artist. His name is Tito. He makes a lot of cool models that you could attach to your Jack-specific figures. He even has Sonic holding the Excalibur from Sonic and the Black Knight. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these 3D models, links will be in bio. I'm gonna do something I've never done with any of my Sonic customs. It's something I always wanted to do, but was always scared to do it. The plan is I'm gonna trade Sonic's arms for some Amy arms. The reason why I'm doing this is because Amy's arms are like thicker and I thought it would look really cool on Sonic since his arms are very like skinny and scrawny looking. Sorry Sonic. So after a while of drilling the hole to be the right size, I got the arms to finally fit into Sonic's body, which I will say was a headache. When Tito made these hands, he made it to go snug on a regular Sonic arm, which is something I didn't really think about in the moment. So what I did is I cut Sonic's ball joint, glued it to the Amy arm, this way the hands could still attach to them and swivel. Once that's done, I'm gonna start painting the soap shoes. A lot of you ask what paint I use. I use model color paint. You could buy these at Hobby Lobby or Amazon. I get mine at Amazon since I have more variety. What I love the most about these 3D printed soap shoes is that they pop right on just as if they were Sonic standard shoes, which I have to say is a huge difference between the other soap shoes models I've used in the past. Earlier when I was swapping Sonic's arms out, I scraped some of the paint off of his tummy, so I'm just going to repaint that. And just so the muzzle and the ear is the same color as the tummy, I'm just going to repaint those parts too. Using my lead pencil, I'm just going to sketch out his eyes and his smile. This makes painting these parts a lot easier. The more and more I paint Sonic's face, I feel like I get better and better at capturing the Sonic Adventure art style. And then he's ready to be sprayed with some primer. So once he's done drying, the figure is complete and we could assemble him. And check that out. He looks like he literally stepped out of Sonic Adventure 2. He looks so cool.
So here's just a little comparison between a standard Sonic and my custom. Overall, I'm very proud of how this custom turned out. If you liked the video, please like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.